So welcome everyone. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, um, depending where you're located in the world. Um, it's so great to see everyone here today. My name is Kimberly, and I'm the Academic Advisor at Hospitality Academy, and I have the great pleasure of hosting to today's guest lecture with Deb Dezina. Um, so thank you all so much for joining us. Um, Deb is an experienced professional in food and uh, beverage and hospitality um, with a track record of training um, and mentoring frontline staff into senior management and executive positions. She has over 20 years of experience in the field, and she is here today to share her extensive knowledge with you. Um, we kindly ask you to participate in this interactive presentation, presentation by answering the questions um, and providing any feedback in the chat box um, when, when she asks you some questions. Um, if you have any questions about the lecture, we kindly ask you to write them in the chat box throughout the lecture because we will have a Q&A session at the end. Um, so, Without further ado, I will now pass the floor to Deb, who will begin her lecture about self-awareness, vulnerability, and the importance of authentic leadership. Thank you so much. Thank you for that amazing introduction, Kimberly. Um, I just wanted to thank, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from uh, wherever you are, I really appreciate. I know uh, it's early for many of you. Um, so thank you for, for joining me on this uh, very important and uh, something I'm deeply passionate about uh, this topic here. Um, so I really appreciate all of you for joining. Um, you know, as uh, Kimberly said, I have over 20 years experience in, in the industry. Um, I started as a line level uh, server um, in front of the house. I worked my way through the ranks um, as, as a server in New York City. So I'm born and raised in, in New York. Um, I am now in Miami, Florida. Um, so I, uh, I've, I've been in the restaurant business, uh, hospitality, uh, throughout as, as, as well as the, uh, the cruise line industry. I work for Royal Caribbean uh, for quite some time. So I'm very uh, familiar with international candidates and employees as well. Um, and this topic, um, something that has proved very well for me uh, over the years is conversations that I've had uh, with my leaders at an early age, very important um, conversations about self-awareness and being aware of what, it, what what's around you and, and, and what, what people are saying about you um, and being vulnerable and asking asking for feedback um, has really proved me well um, over the years. So as we embrace this conversation, um, as, as, as things come up, um, please put your questions in the chat box. I may have a question or two throughout, um, but it really is, a, is, is something where I wanna just keep it organic. Um, I do have some slides that we'll walk through, but um, for the most part, I just want it to be, um, you know, again, vulnerable as, as uh, as we are. So um, you can move to the next slide if you'd like, um, Kimberly. Uh, so some things that I would like to keep in mind as we're, as we're walking through, um, some things that have, again, proved well for me. Um, and it's, it's really allowing yourself to be seen, right? Um, as, as we grow and in, in grow our voice and learn to hear our voice and learn to, to be a leader, um, especially early on, um, admitting when we're wrong and asking questions, right? So finding our voice, meaning, um, you know, as young leaders, we maybe have, have been a line level employee and we're, we're going into an environment where, you know, maybe we're gonna be leading people that we were serving with or, or working with at the same level um, and finding yourself and evolving as a leader and asking um, for support in that way. Um, having compassion, uh, we'll talk a little bit about compassion and grace with yourself um, super important um, to take a step back and making sure that you are, are being careful and, and compassionate with yourself. Um, connection, that's why we're here, right? Um, connection with yourself first, connection with your, your employees, connections with your guests. Uh, most importantly, listen and learn to listen and understand what you're hearing. Um, having organic conversations, 
uh, transparently. Um, and I had mentioned that earlier, asking for feedback and always know where you stand with your team to be a better leader, um, which creates trust, right? Buy-in and sense of belonging and a safe place for them to be heard as well as yourself. Um, knowing not that it's a not one size fits all environment. Um, as we all know, our, our industry is very unique. Uh, we come from all different backgrounds, uh, whether it's culturally, mentally, physically, um, many, many times, oftentimes we, we're dealing with uh, challenge, people with, you know, maybe perhaps learning disabilities or, um, you know, unable to retain information. So just knowing that each person that you come along in contact with um, is, you know, it, it is something that you have to, you have to keep in mind that we're not, we're not talking to the same person uh, throughout. Um, collaboration, as I mentioned, mental health, really important topic right now in our industry, especially after COVID and during, you know, this, this leap into the new world, if you will, um, after COVID, um, you know, we are one of the, if not the most um, industries that have mental health and depression. Um, so keeping that in mind when, when we're coaching and leading. Um, invest in your team. Um, let them know that you know you want to be invested and stand behind them in their personal and professional journey. Um, gratitude. Gratitude is, is something that I lead with all the time. Every day I start my day this way. Um, giving gratitude for them um, and the experiences that um, you all will, will be together. Ask for help. Celebrate. Celebrate your failures just as much as you celebrate your successes. Um, and then you know, mentorship um, for yourself um, and, and being always asking somebody for, for that feedback for you to develop yourself, um, for you to develop others. And we'll get into a little bit about that later. Um, so while um, we're sitting here and, and thinking through, I would like you all to just think about vulnerability and some of the things that I've just said and perhaps, um, you know, what comes to mind? Put it in the chat box, we can talk about it later. Um, you know, maybe take a few minutes after um, the next slide, Kimberly, um, just to get some feedback. Um, what comes to mind? Um, could be one word, could be something that maybe that has happened to you um, in the past. But, um, you know, I feel that with vulnerability, it starts um, with showing up for ourselves. Um, it's allowing us to, to be in a space where, um, you know, we have to really look at ourselves in the mirror and see what type of person we want to be, um, what type of interactions we want to have with, with, um, with ourselves, what type of uh, interactions we want to have with the people that are around us, right? So um, Brianne Brown, if we don't know who she is, she, you know, she is a TED Talk, um, an author. Um, she is well known for uh, her vulnerability and leading from her from a, a very very you know vulnerable and comfortable uncomfortable space if you will. Um, so I, we we think that you know it takes takes responsibility for finding the potential in people and processes and has the courage to develop that potential. Right. So just like with, as an athlete as 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 an athletic person, um, you know we have to exercise that muscle. So this takes practice. Um, to be in a vulnerable space. Um, you know, belonging starts with self-acceptance. Your level of belonging is in fact, can never be greater than the level of self-acceptance because believing that you're enough is going to give you that authentic, vulnerable and imperfect feeling. Can go to the next slide, can really thank you. Um, so this is a, a little diagram here. Um, uh, Bill George is, uh, was a, a educator um, at Harvard, Harvard Business Law. Um, and, uh, you know, we're going to go through a couple of these areas, purpose, relationships, self-discipline, heart, and values. Um, we can go to the next slide. Um, so as we said, right, so a purpose, um, I know for myself, um, especially in this age and this space I am in my career, I've, I've taken an intentional step back um, to, to think about my purpose. And when we think about purpose, right, we think about values, we think about what's important to us, we think about um, the kind of work that we're doing with the people that we're doing it with. Um, and, you know, as you're going through your, your journey, 
in in uh in your especially early on at this stage or wherever the stage is um finding that purpose right is is something that um, will, will continue to give you that that self-awareness having the values right what's important to you um, every decision that you as an authentic leader make um, and every behavior that you display um, are predetermined by your values um, if, if you're in an environment which you know toxic culture um, or or something that merely makes you feel good, um, you know, take a step back. What, what makes you feel good when you wake up in the morning and when you when you end your day at, you know, at the end of your day? How do you feel about the work that you're doing? Um, that's where I, I really try and focus my day-to-day, -day, um, uh, whether it's me writing it down, asking for feedback from some, uh, my partner or, or a friend, um, you know, it's really important that you have that that list. Um, leading with your heart. Um, speak from your heart. You know, today I'm I'm probably as just as vulnerable as as this conversation, um, and and I I feel that it, it's important, right? But what's happening? I'm I'm speaking from from here and and from experience and and from being in other people's shoes, um, and that's what what empathy is, right? Um, making sure that um, as a, as a good leader you are able to put yourself in the shoes of other people and knowing what it's like to to feel like them right what would you what would you feel so that's that leads from the, your employee and that'll translate to your guest um self-discipline we talked about that a minute ago it's it's a muscle that you're going to need to work on um you know it's a continuous effort um and it's going to take some some hard work um to do that you can go um, to the next slide. And have a great weekend. Thank you.